I would be about 10, 10 years of age. I always had an interest in brass instruments, but I didn't actually have a cornet until I was 11 years of age. I played on bugles and different things, but, but the, at the end of the 40s, it was needed to come by instruments. But I eventually got a boozy cornet, and my Uncle Arthur taught me from there. I d it didn't have a case, so I kept it in a pale thorpe sausage box and took it to bed with me. <laughs> That's the truth. My, my, I only had, didn't have many teachers. I had Uncle Arthur, and then there was Tom Smith in the band, who was a disciplinarian, and, and then I went to Bramgay, to, to the uh, Birmingham School of Music from 1956 till 1960. I heard my, 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 my band was Aldridge Town Band at the time. Um, they were a third section band. Uh, they were a very good band. The only first section band I played before for was John Thompson's band, Wolverhampton, and Bram was the conductor of that. And I actually did the, I actually did the London Parks job with that band, with Rex conducting. So I, did, I didn't know Rex at all then, but I did play under him before I actually came to Folders, but I needed a guest with John Thompson's. I was originally thinking of going to, to a band at Horden Colliery because I was an apprentice electrician in the coal mines. I started my apprenticeship there, and I was work I'd got my underground papers, I'd worked underground. Um, and I fancied going to a, a band called Horden Corrie in the northeast, and they were a very good band. I went up there, and I thought if I go up there, I can carry on my apprenticeship. And because um, a mining apprenticeship at that time was very good. Anyway, Bram asked me if I'd like to go to Foldens, and I, did, I said I would. So he, on his recommendation, he wrote to Rex, and Rex offered me the position, well, so, sorry, I'm jumping the gun. I went for an audition in the October of 1960, and um, Rex offered me the position of fifth man down. That was the actual position he offered me. So the, you, you don't usually have five men down, do you really? But that's what I was offered. And, uh, and, I, and I joined, the, my first official rehearsal with Folding Band was, was um, December the 12th, 1960. And that's how I came to be here. Well, I, I came on the Monday, the, um, the 12th of December, 1960, and I moved into New Street with Mary Wood, a widow, um, which, was, which was close to the band room and also close to the works. And I stayed with her for six years. Um, and I started work actually the next day in the erecting shop. I, I couldn't get an apprenticeship, because I was only 16. I, could, I couldn't get an apprenticeship as an electrician, but I, I had one as a fitter, which was, which was, a, a, it was, it was a good job. It wasn't a well-paid job. I mean, to give you an example, when I, my, my last wage at the colliery was four pounds 17 and six, which is about four pounds 75 pence. When I came to Foden's, it was about 50 shillings. £2.50, which is a big drop. But Rex, the band, paid my lodgings, which was £3 a week at that time. So I didn't do bad at it. It was OK. As Ganville said before, Rex, uh, Rex always looked after us. He looked after the band. I think Lorenzo's got to be one of them, because we did win. It's the only, the only major contest that I've actually won was the Open in 1964. And actually, at that time, I was sat next to Granville. On the record, I played third man down or second man down, but on the on, on the contest, I played next to Granville, and that was an, that's the biggest contest I've actually won. I've never won the national, load several masters contests, which were good wins and entertainment contests, but I never won the national. Yeah, Howard Snell came to the band in 1982, and I, and I, I was the only player that spent the full 16 years of his tenure here, and which was quite an experience. Um, I was never close to him in those early days, but as time goes on, I did grow closer to him, you know, and it was a, it was a really a tremendous experience being with Howard for 16 years. And I had the library, and I, used to, I think I used to try his patience a little bit at times, because if things were really good, he'd call me Jimmy. If they weren't so good, he'd call me Jim, and if things went wrong, he'd call me James. <laughs> Well, um, I think it was 19, 
64, we made a record with Malcolm Sargent. That was quite an experience. Um, they were all his own arrangements.